Hello everyone and thank you for coming to watch Down That Road. This film was made in a very short amount of time on a very small budget, but was made entirely possible with the talented and amazing cast that came through to take time out of their daily lives, along with the very talented crew members who were students and graduates who helped make this project possible from a very small idea with cars and racing and dreams to going above and beyond in the skies. It's gonna be real fun. It's gonna have real speed. Thank you for watching. Just like when you gave her to me, only faster, stronger, almost a completely different vehicle. You got that right. You can <laughs> fix them up, you can change them. You're not gonna find a baby like this one. I think she's ready for the track, but the only question is, are you ready? Well, the track's been calling my name and soon it's probably gonna call Jimmy's too. I'm not so sure about that. What? We drove all this way to look at a car. We might as well drive her home. You know I'll teach him the ways. Just no racing, unless it's against me. Then we'll be flying together. Is it too late to change my mind? As if not, I'll steal it back from him. Ready to race? So then this dude asked for a deal just because the part was late and I, <laughs> I I couldn't believe it really. <laughs> no way you got fired for that dude. He definitely gave that deal to them. Or did they twist it on you and say you treated the customer badly? Alright, yeah, I gave him the deal but you know, I, apparently to my boss it's worse to lose a customer than to fire me so. Damn, bro, I guess you like getting fired from all these places or something. <laughs> yeah, and he likes to buy you the beer every time, too. I know, I know. Thank you, Jimmy, for the final beer run on you. Yeah, you guys with the full-time mic better cover me and Jimmy from now on. I mean, that's if we ever come back here. Josh and I got our spot secured for our shop. Yeah, congrats, guys. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Jimmy, offer still on the table if you change your mind. Yeah, but none of those BS deals. Hey, I really appreciate it, honestly, guys, but 
I think I'm gonna try and go for a job at the track. Hey, still trying to race. It's awesome, man. So, uh, how's your sister? She's been pissing me off, man. I bet, dude. Jimmy, let's go talk over there. Still single? Oh, yeah. Nice. What's going on, man? Living the dream, as always, you know. So how you been otherwise? Now this is your fifth job, no girl, now all of a sudden you want to race cars? Well, you know, dad used to do it. It's about time I start. You know, you've only really watched your dad race. You have no experience doing it. You don't have a career. You have nothing else lined up for you at all. You know I'm not going anywhere, man. You know these guys said it themselves. Dude, what are you talking about? You'll be a better man than they'll ever be. Yeah, I mean, at least they'll be gone, right? Exactly, man. They're leaving. You have nothing to worry about. At least you'll still be here and... Yeah, man. I'll be here after the semester's over. What do you mean, next semester? Yeah, remember that, uh, that flight school I was talking about? I got accepted, and, I mean, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I have to take it. <laughs> That's awesome. Good. Good for you. Really. Hey, man. Don't worry about it. It'll be over soon before you know it. We'll always keep in contact, too. I'm just gonna be stuck here with my mom. She doesn't even like having me around, and I'm just gonna be driving, getting fired, and keep doing that the rest of my life, right? I know that's not true. She loves having you around. She needs you. You know what, man? I think I gotta, I gotta get my job. I gotta become a race car driver now. All right? Jimmy, are you serious? You can't, man. What, you going to race with Daddy? <laughs> You're gonna waste it just by staring at it. You know it'll be better if you just ate it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I know. You know, you're an idiot for driving like that. I know you know that. I fell asleep. My ass. What, 
What do you want me to say? Say hey, I ran out all day to get shit faced with my loser friends. Simple as that. I know he left the racing for you to carry on, but don't carry on the lying. Oh, hey, bud. Would you come over here and help me? Come here. Something else? Well, yeah, the whole car needs to get fixed. Yeah, you get it wanted again. Wanted it again? Well, once we get it rebuilt, we can try running it again. What is this? What is this, Daddy? No, it's part of the radiator. What's it for? Cool, the engine. Gotta fill it up, though. It's kind of oh, empty. Can we fill it up, Daddy? I was just helping mom with her papers for class. Or crawled up on your face. How come you like racing so much if it keeps breaking? These things are lifelong projects. Did you ever want to do anything besides racing? I always wanted to fly up in the sky like grandpa. But guys like me gotta fly down here. Sorry you never got to go. Hey, I might not be able to go. But if you ever wanted to, you can fly. I don't want to fly planes. Don't anybody ever tell you you can't follow your dreams. I help your mom follow hers, and it's our job to make sure you follow your dreams, whatever that is. I just want to help. Okay, you can start with the little stuff. You gonna drive away now? I was, uh, just, just reliving the good old days. It makes you feel like he's still home sometimes, don't it? It's hard to forget the last ride he had in the car, but seeing it fixed up, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I was thinking about it, and I want to get in contact with some of Dad's friends from the track and see if I can get into racing. You lose your job and you just decide you want to be a race car driver? What if I do? Well, that idea is no better than the one you had getting in that car last night. I just feel it's something I have a great chance in. I can turn my life around, I can help pay the bills around the house. I know you want to leave me, and as much as that hurts me, I can deal with that. But if you go down that road, you're going to end up like you're dead until you actually die, just like him. Mom, I have a chance you to... You have a chance to be better. He wanted that for you. So why don't you make him happy by doing that? Because it's my dream, and it was once his. This is real life. You're not a kid anymore. I'm sorry, Jimmy. He left all this for me, and I feel like I have to take it. Oh, my. What? What is it, Mom? What? This wouldn't have happened if he didn't push you into racing. I should have showed you there was more to life than just racing. I, I should have just kept him away and not impress you with this unfulfilled obsession. Right. Because I put the drink in his hand that night he crashed, and you had nothing to do with it at all.
What you got there? Is that your dad? Oh, is today the interview you've been talking about? Yep. Wow, here already? I told you about it yesterday. I know. You've just been out these past few days, and I'm just happy for you is all. Can you just let me do this? I'm gonna be late. Hey, let me get this for you. And since you have to go, take your dad's car. The bus is gonna be too long. And drive him too. Uh, how are you? I'm, I'm good. How are you? Are you sure you're doing alright? Oh, this is, uh, you should have seen the other guy. <laughs> huh? Uh, it was, it was a joke. Sorry. <laughs> no, really, I got into an accident, but I'm doing much better, and came here looking for a job, and my dad, he actually used to race here. Oh, is he joining you anytime soon? No, no, it's just me. Well, anyways, uh, Mr. Kent is ready in his office, so you can stop by. Oh, okay. Right. Hey, I'll let you know how it goes after. Okay. Not a lot of car memorabilia for a guy who works at a racetrack. Nope. No, I just work here. This isn't my life. That's my life. Okay. Hey, uh, so hi. What's it? What's this about? Oh, I'm the person who's called in for the interview for the racing job. Um. We have a racing job available. Uh, I know I was told a guy was coming in. I didn't realize this was a job interview. Um, what exactly are you looking for? Oh, I thought they told you. My dad actually used to race here a lot, and he knew the owner of the track, and mm. just trying to see if I could get on the track like him. Okay, I'm not the owner. I'm just the operations manager. So um, and I've been with the track uh, only eight years now, so I'm not sure I would know your father. Is he a big name? I wouldn't say he was a big name and not really many wins, but he loved it here. They loved him and just trying to see what opportunities I can get out of his experience. Yeah, who'd you train with? My dad took me on a couple rides with him and we used to watch him on the sidelines, cheer him on, but... Okay, got a couple rides. Well, why isn't your father here today with you and training you now further? He's not really around.
All right. I don't have much besides this. I'm, I know this is this is stupid. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I, I don't know if it's stupid, but you've got to be realistic. You know, I mean, uh, you don't have any experience, and you're asking for a job in racing. Uh, you should be out in the amateur circuit. I know, it's pointless. It's a waste of time. I should just get out of here. Hey, man, you're not wasting my time, okay? Just because I didn't know your dad doesn't mean they're not going to help you, all right? So you got to spend some time thinking, is this really what you want, or are you just following your dad's footsteps? Hey, you're going to be all right, son. No. You're not my dad. What is it, Mom? Jimmy, is this a bad time? Well, that interview sucked, but I was actually going to talk to a girl. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Everything was fine Jimmy. until you ended up calling. Jimmy, I'm really sorry. Why did you call? It's just, what, what is so it's, important? You're wasting my time. It's time to say goodbye. The doctors called and this is it. let you out here. But what if you miss him? I want to be there with you. I can't, all right? Just go. You need to be there with him. Jimmy, I need you. Let's go. Mom, just go. You don't need me. I can't do this. I can't. You can't? You can't? I can't. I can't do this. He did this all because of me, the racing and everything, right? And you scared him out of it, and he had to drink himself to death, all because I wanted to be a racer. So it was all because of me, so don't tell me you can't. Just go. Go watch him die without me.
start with the little stuff. Go help your mom say goodbye. I don't think that way we fit You don't have to go fit you? Put it on. You have to go fit you perfect. You'll grow into it one day. Let's see. Yeah. It's bad. It's perfect. What you doing? Fixing my car. Your car? A few weeks ago I sold mine to pay some bills. I've been using this. Really? Mom, I'm... I'm I bought him this car. What? My dad was a racer. And one day this long-haired, cute, poor guy was fixing his car. And next thing you know, I bought him this one. Why am I just hearing this now? Working on cars wasn't a stable dream, but I knew I wanted to be a school teacher. And I'll always thank him for getting me to be where I wanted to be. You know, I always think I'd never forgive myself for letting him make my dream his. But that's not right to say when you've been here all the time with everything. So, you're gonna be a race car driver now? Actually, I've been thinking. I still love cars, the racing, but I should look into a job or school and figure out what it is I really wanna do. And I know I wanna help people in some way, but I need to help myself first. And I can start by learning with you to forgive ourselves.